Key news, my lovely, wonderful people. Olusha Basanjo gives his, his verdict on coup, a military coup in Nigeria. What will happen and how it will go on. You know, he gives his own verdict and he speaks extensively on what, you know, on the coup that is going on, you know, almost everywhere in Africa. And this is because our democracy is not well established. This is why this coup are taking place and, you know, it's happening, you know, like no other. And really, sincerely speaking, we need to we need to get on with it and get the truth. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. As Obasan just speaks on possibility of coup in Nigeria. I won't support military coup in Nigeria. But if it comes to, but if it has come to that, what can we do? Obasan just says. <laughs> See if it has come to that. Can you imagine? So, what did they talk? <laughs> the former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Basanjo, has declared that conditions that encourage school to happen should be avoided as much as possible. The former Nigerian president, who served as both a military and a democratically elected leader, argued that the rising Military coup in Africa shows that the youth are tired of some things and in time of liberation, people will do whatever it takes to get this done. Obasanjo, who, however, quick, was quick to add that he is not in support of coup, but when it happens, there is usually not much what can be done says to understand this very well the former president made the submission while speaking at the olushe Basanjo presidential library in abiyokuta ogu state during an interactive session with a group with a group of youths from africa for african youth initiative a platform founded by reverend chris oyakilome according to him he would not support a coup considering his experience in the hands of former military detectors, late General Sunny Abacha, responding to questions on coup in Africa after speaking on fostering sustainability development through pan-Africanism, Obasanjo explained that it is very important to prevent coup from happening. He calls on the government of various African countries, including Nigeria, to ensure they don't push the youth to the point of preferring a military coup takeover. He said, having suffered in the hands of Abacha, I won't support military coup. But if it has come to that, what can we do? The point is that we have, con we have conditions that encourage the type of thing that are happening. Because if we don't have the conditions that encourage them, they may not happen. That does not mean it that does not mean it will not happen. Should and it should not and that does not mean it should be encouraged. What it means is that we should make sure we do everything to prevent coup from happening in Nigeria. When you see things that happen in many countries, and I will and I will not exclude Nigeria, then you wonder and don't forget, don't forget particularly the youth. They support most of this coup. The one of Gamb Gaba and the, the coup leader was being carried on the on the heads of the youth, not by the old wicked men or women. They were healing them and supporting them and saying thank you for taking over. So the youth are looking are looking out for liberators, and we must bear that in mind. Why do we have to allow the youth to start looking for liberators beyond the government of the day? If you don't create a conducive environment, and the youth and military join hands, that is game over. Obasanjo called on African leaders to sit tight mentally to have a change of heart towards productivity, adding that democracy, the word for everyone, should be encouraged, not put aside. And if you have been in government for 40 years and you are not tired of, of all this, then you don't know what you are after. Obasanjo, you have spoken well. You have really, really spoken well. It's a good, I, I believe it's a good place to really look at things positively. It's a very good place to be quite candid. It's a very good place to look at things objectively. Do you know that 
this country with what is happening how do you what do you want to tell the youth what do you want to tell the youth eh what do you want to tell the the youth it it's it's very you know it's very <laughs> It's very unbelievable that such things are happening. It's very unbelievable, you know, that youths, you know, in, if you look at uh, Gabon, if you see what happened in Gabon, the youths practically carried the coolie down his neck and they were healing him, praising him and saying, thank you. Thank you for helping us, for, for giving us a voice. We were dying. You know, these people did not want to let, let us go. They held us in captivity. Thank you for rising for us. What does that tell you? It tells you that the people are hungry for change, tired of the status quo, and they need something different. They, they are tired of it, like tired, you know. So we cannot continue to pretend, cover our faces in shame and hide that everything is all right. No, when things are not, no, 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 no. You can't do that. You can't do that. We must be honest, sincere, and ready to take the bull by the horn. That is the way we thrive. That is the way we make a meaningful impact. Every one of us must be ready, okay? Every one of us must be ready, okay? To ensure that we do everything needed at this point in time for the change we've been looking out for to come. Nigerians, what are we doing? And how are we going about all of this? We must ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to get Nigeria out of what is happening right now so that together we can get this nation into the right place and begin to, you know, edge forward and do all that is needed to change the course of the nation, to put us right, you know, at the very point where we need to be. The problem is there are things, you know, there are things that um, we, we, we know, but we pretend, we pretend and we, and we do as if we, we, we are not aware of it. We know very well that as a nation, as a people, we, we need this change. We need this country to work. We need things to begin to, you know, to begin to align. But guess what? We don't do it. Yeah? We don't do it. Obasanjo is just, he's just being honest. He's being sincerely, truly honest. He's being sincerely, truly honest that the possibility of these things, you know, should be, you know, should be, should be looked upon. You know, should be looked upon. It should be looked upon. You know, so it, it is very, very important. So important. So important. You see, so important. So my lovely, wonderful people, don't forget to please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.